How to make your bets easy for the dealer. First thing is, whenever you have money or you want to make a bet, put it down as close to the come as possible. So the less the dealer has to lean over into the game, the better, and they love that. If you're someone who likes to put their money all the way over here, if you can even see that, the dealer has to lean all the way in unless they happen to be very tall, makes it a little difficult. So anytime you need to make a bet on the game, put it right here in the come. Ideally, make sure to tell them what the dealer is. Now, I know a lot of people think that you're making it easier when you put down the money exactly the way that you want it. For example, let's say that we have a point and you want to do $110 inside and so you put the quarter here, 30 here, 30 here, 25. It's really not necessary and we prefer as dealers not to do that. Just go ahead and stack up all of your money, make it one pile and put it right in front of you and then we'll take it. You tell us, hey, that's 110 inside or whatever happens to be and we'll set it up for you. It's much easier than that. There's no need to put it out. Now, there are some of you, of course, who have a little difficulty with the math, and trust me, a lot of dealers also have trouble with the math, and so you're like, hey, I need $10 on this one, $10 on this one, or whatever the case is. No, no. All you need to do is either one of two things. One, you can say, hey, I would like $10 on the number. How much do I need? And the dealer would be very happy or much happier just to tell you how much you need and then you can set it down for them. Or if you're really not sure, just put out some bigger chips, right? So let's put out some bigger checks and say, hey, I want all the way across $10. Take what you need out of that pile right there. And then we'll do the math. We'll put the pile over here. We can cut out the money, okay? And take what we need and set it up. It makes it so much easier because we call this type of stuff string betting. If you're literally just one at a time throwing out the money for the numbers, it's called string betting and I promise you the dealers will either talk about it or laugh about it when they're on break. Okay, they might not make fun of you while you're at the table, let's hope, but sometimes that's a thing. Okay, the next thing is another big debate we have is if you happen to be over here and you want to make a proposition bet where dealers are always saying, hey, throw it in the middle. And there's a lot of players who feel like they don't want to throw it. Their, their throw isn't very good or whatever the case. I will tell you this. Do not roll the money because rolling is terrible. You never know where it's going to go. Okay. And don't whip it in. Okay. Don't whip it in. Right. But here's what happens. If you put your money right here in the cum and it's what you want is a hard way or a horn bet, dealer might not get to it. Your base dealer might not get to it. It's a really good idea to give it a little bit of air. Even if it's not too much air, just try to avoid the other bets on the game. If you can, we want you just to throw it in the middle, let the prop guy or the stick guy take care of that bet. And what I, what I tell people to do is literally underhanded, grab the chips in between their fingers and give it a little spin, okay? And yes, it's gonna bounce around a little bit, it's gonna look a little funky, but we would prefer for that money to go to the stick person. Because again, if you just set it here in the cum, we might not realize, we might think that's a cum bet, we might think that's something else. If you don't put your name to it and say, you know, what you want. Now, the next thing is, the, the, another easy way to get your bets is to be very explicit about what you want. So for example, if you have a $12 six, okay, and you say press, the dealer is going to automatically assume that you want to go double, right? If that's not what you want, you need to be very explicit. So in every case, whenever possible, you just tell the dealer exactly what you would want and avoid any confusion. Don't assume that the dealer is going to assume or the dealer is going to know what you want. You literally let them know what you want exactly. Say, hey, I would like to go to $24 on the 6, okay? That's also a press. Or maybe you want to go to 18, maybe you want to go to 30. And it's okay always to say, hey, how much do I need, dealer? I want to make that bet look like X. How much do I need? It's not a problem. Now, here is another good bit of advice. Let's say, for example, you're betting $25 in the field and you look up at your rack and you see that you don't have a lot of reds and you need a couple reds. Well, guess what? If the field were to roll, you can go ahead and ask your dealer to pay you in red. 
Okay, they don't have to pay you in color. They don't have to pay you in green. They can actually pay you in red chips. So now that you have a little ammo in the rack, maybe the cocktail waitress is coming, whatever the case is, but you can always say, hey, pay me in red. Or if the dealer is someone who's putting out a lot of red, you could say, pay me in color. So let's say, for example, you have $100 there and you say, I would like a stack of red. Maybe you want a stack of red. They can pay you $100 as a stack of red if needed. There's $100 in the field. You want in the field, you can pay $100 a stack. Now, you could also request to color that up while it's a bet. So, for example, you say, hey, can I get a black one for that? You can always ask. They don't always give them to you because they have to track the blacks. Uh, but you can always ask. So, if you have $100 in action and they keep paying you greed and you have accumulated a ton of green, then you can ask to say, hey, I would, like, uh, to, I would like a black to move on, all right? But the biggest things to make it easier is, A, put your money here in the come, let your dealer know what you want, wait your turn, of course, right? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight around the table. So if you're here, the dealer's gonna pay attention to you last. And then no string betting, okay? No string betting, and string betting means just one bed at a time and trying to tell the dealer you know what you want put it all together when you're ready set it down in front of you and let the dealer know i would like all the way across or whatever the hell you would want and again if you want to bet the props just throw them in there all right just throw them in right into the middle just do underhand put a little twist on them uh, and let your your stick man take care of those bets for you all right so that's a quick lesson in how to make your bets and betting easier for the dealers. And don't forget to tip. Uh, a tip dealer is a very friendly dealer who's much more apt to help you along the way. And we love that. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.